Hey guys, this is all stream that and we are here with another episode of Farming Simulator 19 the Contractor. And as you can see, it is raining. And we are I don't think we're tired, we are not. Uh, but what we can do is we can take this contract for selling canola on field 26, which is actually right next to us, and we have all the equipment that we need. So that will that will only get us uh, 1723 which isn't that bad but it could be better um, and then we're just gonna have to wait for this rain to die down uh, we may get to it tomorrow and right now there's really nothing on the farm that we can do because it is raining so we're gonna wait for this to uh, die down and then we will be back Alright, and it is a quarter to seven in the morning, and the rain has subsided. So we're going to jump in the New Holland. And we're going to hook up to our cedar. And it is full. And what did we need? We need canola. There we go. So we have canola. And I believe that was field 26. That was, okay. And field 26 is right here. So there we go. Let's lower that and turn it on and we should be ready to go. So luckily we did make money yesterday, um, that was the continuation of the day that we were on in the last episode. So it's not like we didn't make any money. Okay, we're going to right now kind of do it this way, just go around the outside or the headland. And then we're going to, after a few passes this way, uh, just start going across the field. So we're going to get this done. Uh, this is a short job. It should be done today. And then we will see what we have in the way of uh, eggs and wool and get our animals taken care of and make sure that they're going to be okay. So the animals are going to be our big money makers now. And in the future, I would like to get cows, but right now, um, it's pretty much about taking care of the animals that we do have. And maybe buying another field or two before we even start to get into cows. not planting.
Now it is okay. So we're going to go ahead and time lapse this. And I will see you when we are done. Okay, we are just about done here, so it should be another pass or two, and we have definitely not used even a quarter of the um, seed that was in the cedar. And there we go. That is it. So we are done. So let's complete that. Um, we do have some spraying ones that we could do. Um, is there any that we have that we can do that would be quick and pay a lot? It doesn't look like it. Uh, the harvesting one is for corn. Or no, sunflowers. 
that's on field 13. So we do not have any headers available for the harvester that we have that can do sunflowers. Otherwise, we would probably do that one. But as it is right now, we're going to take the cedar back and park it. And then we're going to check up on the animals real quick and see how many eggs we have, see if we have a full pallet of wool. And let's see here, we have five cartons of eggs. That's not a lot. And it looks like we have two, two things of wool. So what we can do is we can go into the animals and see exactly what we have. We have 513 liters of wool and we have 34 liters of eggs. And they are doing pretty good except for the cleanliness. So I think we're going to go ahead and clean them up real quick. Okay, there we go. The chickens are clean. And the sheep are clean. Okay. And we just took a herbicide job. So we want a front weight. And I might look at getting a couple more of these weights because we only have the one. So I'm thinking about getting at least one more so that way we have that way we have a couple of them and that is herbicide that we have in there we don't want herbicide Let's bring that out here. Let's unload that and move back in. And there we go. Liquid fertilizer is what we are looking for. Ninety-nine percent full. That's fine, and we are going to field seven. So to get to field seven, we go in between seventeen and eighteen is right up here we take that straight up be right above field 10. Okay. 
and that was supposed to be herbicide. So now we need to go back. So I should have taken a better look at that before I emptied out the herbicide. Okay, now that we got that little mess taken care of, we can get to work um, on this field that has a bunch of weeds in it. And I do have crop destruction off. Um, otherwise, I would not be using the wheels I have on now. As they would completely destroy any of the crop that I ran over. So let's... Like that. Uh, we want to... Raise the sprayer. Let's back up just a touch. go and you can see we are killing the weeds they are disappearing as we go and it looks as though this is beets maybe that's what it looks like So we will get out when we're done here and we will check what they are, but I do believe that they are beets. And with weeds, you can sometimes get them out with a weeder if you catch them early enough. But when they get like this, um, herbicide is really the only option. I'm not completely sure that we can make it through this whole field. Now we might be able to. And we're going to do a little bit of a time lapse here and I will see you on the other side.
There we go. And those were sugar beets. So let's go ahead and we need to, we need to uh, collect our money and let's see if there's anything else that we can do for spraying with herbicide uh, there's field 11 and field 28 and you know what let's go ahead and uh, we're going to accept field 11 which is right over here and the reason we're going to do that is because it is a smaller field and we do have the we do have the herbicide to do it So as long as we have the herbicide to do it, we might as well. As long as we're in the area, we can make a little bit more money. And then if we have anything left after this, and if uh, the other one is still available, there we go. And if the other one is still available and we have any herbicide left, we can go ahead and take that one and get a couple hundred extra dollars there too.
we should be just about done with this one. Yeah, then we should be getting some money for this. I'm just waiting for it to pop up as done. go so let's uh oh that one's actually that one's not okay there we go let's collect that and uh field 28 to spray with herbicide let's do that one and that should be yes that is the one directly south of us That is another very small field. I believe that the 17% herbicide, um, 381 liters, I believe should be enough. For this little tiny field right in front of us. So I figure as long as we have it out, there we go, that's what I was looking for. As long as we have our uh, sprayer out with herbicide, we might as well do as many jobs as we can in the area and get as much money as we can. And if it uses all of our herbicide, then so be it. And we should definitely have enough to finish the job. Should be no issue. Okay. I think we're even going to have a little bit left over. Okay, then let's turn it around and... There we go. We had more than enough. And it's only $855 job. But that's $855 that we didn't have before. And it is done. We're going to go ahead and finish it up for him. There we go. Normally I wouldn't do that, but there was so little left. So there we go. And we have 6% left in there. So let's go ahead and... Actually, let's do this. Oh, that was wrong. Um... Okay. So I believe that that is not a full IBC tank. And it is not. Okay. Awesome. So what that does There we 
go. So what that does is that makes sure that we have everything right there as not full. Uh, one of those IBCs of fertilizer is full and the other one is not. So let's go ahead and put this weight on the back. There we go. And now we want to grab the pallet forks. Should be on the blue one. And let's go ahead and start putting those back in. And we're going to start with these. So one of these is not full. And it's that one. So that one will go out front. This one is the one that is completely full. So let's put that right in here. If we go like that, we should be able to get that as close Again, we lift those up. That way we can push that back. Normally you wouldn't do that because you don't want to puncture the IBC. And have your fertilizer all over the place. go. Let's raise that a little bit. There's 200 liters in this one. Okay, that should be good. go. And now we have the herbicide which is pretty empty. But we're not going to buy any right now because we don't really need to. Because we are not going to be taking any of those jobs right now. And that should be fine. go. And so now we need to push that back. There we go. And then what we can do is we can whoop, we can move that out. Yeah. 
and we're going to take the forks off. Go. We can take the weight off and then turn around and put the weight on the front. Maybe. There we go. And let's put the sprayer on the back and back that in. And I think what we're going to do from here on out is we're going to do two episodes over one day. So we started this one right around right around 6, 6.30. And it might help to be on the right side of that. There we go. So we're going to end this one right around noon, and then the next one will be noon till it gets too dark to work. And there we go. And we can actually leave that right there. And let's do another quick check on the animals. There still hasn't been any eggs. They're still clean. They're clean enough. And okay, so it is not that bad, really. And let's complete that one. And that is going to complete today's episode. And we just got our third pack of wool on that pallet. So one more and that will be a full pallet. And it looks like that can hold four pallets. Uh, maybe six. I think that can hold six. So, but that is going to conclude our episode for today. I want to thank everybody for watching. My name is Allstream, that hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications.